Good morning, YouTube. Love City RC here. Just thought I would uh, come at you guys and show you all a little project I got going on here. This is uh, one of the Ford uh, F100s. I'm not sure of the year model, but it's one of their the street based trucks. And this is on a slash two wheel drive platform, the low LCG chassis. And it's got the Valenian 3S, which is pretty good for this platform and this was what I was trying to accomplish here was more of a military look so I went with a gunmetal gray matted it out on the outside and then added you can't really tell with the camera but the running board and the bed are darker it's quite a bit darker you can't really I guess right there you can kind of see the line I just didn't go black because I put black on everything, but the uh, I still have to run some hoses for the nitrous bottle just to make it look a little more realistic, and then I got some military stuff up here. I got a sniper rifle. It's a, I think it's one of the uh, Barrett MRADs, the 338 Lapua, I think is actually what that's supposed to be, but... That's just from me kind of looking at it, trying to figure it out myself. I'm not sure. And I've got just a, a basic old school M16. Oh no, well that's an M4 from looks of the buttstock. And then I got the old uh, RPG on this side. And I think it looks pretty sweet. I used a Cricut for my chevrons. And then just a couple of stripes down the fender. And then this thing was an absolute nightmare to cut out well it wasn't a nightmare to cut out because the cricket did it for me but oh my god the the background weeding oh my god the <laughs> okay so if you're not familiar with a cricket all of the negative space which shows the paint through the clear all has to be pulled off the black so every place you see in that skull that's not black, you have to get a pair of tweezers and pull all of the secondary vinyl around. Every single tooth, all the wrinkles, and while it does look cool, I probably won't ever try to do something that detailed again. Um, all the lines in the face, I mean, it, it gave a really cool effect, and I love the way it came out. But it took like... I want to say about three, four hours. I mean, I sat through almost all of Zack Snyder's Justice League while I did this. So that gives you some idea of how ridiculously long it took me to do that logo. But, man, what a cool result. Because I thought it just came out great. And it looks pretty sweet on the hood. I used uh, a gloss vinyl for that. And then I've got matte paint everywhere else, so it makes the logo really jump out at you. And then I got a bunch of lighting. I put some kind of what looked to be military style mesh grill covers over the lights to give it more of that military look. And then did the same thing on the light pods up top. And then I've got two running lights down here with the steel encasements. And four of them out back it's a uh, it's a really sweet truck and I've got it geared as such that it runs pretty hot so hot in fact that I kind of got to be careful because these uh these tires while fantastic these speed hawks these are a great non-belted low profile wide tire option for the slash two wheel because they look nice I really like the wheel design and I like the low profile um tire but the uh the tread it's got a nice good wide patch um a lot, like i don't know if you guys are familiar with some of the old uh, pro line i think it was a road rage is what they called it um this was back 20 years ago they stay they may still make that that tire and that compound i'm not sure but it's the closest thing i could find to it now is that dirt track speed hawk and they're really inexpensive i mean mounted i think a pair of them are you know, sixteen, eighteen dollars. I, I don't know. They're not bad. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys my 
military slash Ford F100 that I'm working on and I've still got some minor details to do to it and I still got a couple scale accessories that I want to put on it but I'm still trying to decide which ones I want to use and this that's just sitting there I'm gonna eventually be taking that off and putting something different I just stuck it there for reference just with some double-sided tape to kind of see what it would look like if I left it there but I'm not a big fan I'm just gonna pipe in that bottle and do a couple other small things um, I wish the I had availability for different mounts when I made this originally because while these little buttons are I mean I guess that's better than a, a clip I don't know I don't mind the clips I guess I'm mean, it you get used to it but I was really hoping to be able to have something that was magnetic or something but with this body magnetics just not you start clipping at 50 miles an hour and this thing really starts to want to pull off and I'm haven't had good luck with that stuff in the past so I'm gonna kind of get away from that but anyway guys I just kind of wanted to show this to you and maybe get y'all's opinion on what you think I, I thought it turned out pretty good I think it looked pretty slick but ever since I saw the truck on expendables I love that old school look and they just gave me the idea to do something military with one so tell me what you guys think yay nay whatever I think it's cool it works for me anyway guys getting long winded here I will uh, come back at you here later I got one more paint job I want to show to you guys I just finished up on the uh, element ecto I made a short video about it but I was going to go into detail a little bit more about it in another video so we'll get that bad boy up on the bench and we'll go through it. Hub City RC's out.